so here we got the famous crossfire tire pressure equalizing system now i mean it sounds pretty fancy but this is what we're looking at here all right nothing too crazy you can't really tell what you're getting into here's where you inflate here's where it gets bolted down obviously you got where it mounts to the outside tire and the inside tire nothing too crazy let's see what it looks like on a truck So this is what it looks like when it's mounted to a wheel end, All right? Just bolt it onto here onto your axle shaft. One goes through, All right? And as you can see, all it does is just screw on to the, uh, the little straighter end there. And the inside, or on the outside one, same thing, all it does is just screw on. So, I found that these are quite a pain to get on, because they don't they don't exactly spin well. I don't know, maybe they just weren't made perfect. But, I don't know, whatever happened, kind of a pain, hopefully it never leaks. And if you got to change the tire, of course you got to take that off. So, it's gonna be a pain for someone else too. Uh, looking at these, I thought it read air pressure, right? I thought it was gonna have a, a number on here that told me what the air pressure was, but that's just not the case. It's this black line that moves down. And as soon as you get it right there to that line, right? You want it right there perfectly in the middle. And as soon as it gets there, you know you're at 110. To me, that seems kind of pointless. Why are you gonna waste your money on this? Some people like it. Some people just like taking a quick look, see where I'm at. I'm, uh, I got too much air pressure. I got too little air pressure. And then I'm just right. I don't know. What do you guys think? Give me your thoughts and let me know what you guys think about this. Is it worth it or is it just another waste of time? Another snake oil device. All right, guys. Stay hustling. Take it easy out there.